And the only two politicians I respect in Washington right now are my fellow guests, Michelle Bachman and Joe Wilson. Guess what? Not all cultures are equal. Not all values are equal. Posing would not apply to those who are here illegal. America and Coulter, good to see you in, in New York. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? Good to see you. are going to have to pay you. taxes for this appearance tonight. <laughs> um, uh, well, first of all, this is new ground. Eight out of ten issues. Right. This is a big change. Eight out of ten. Uh, the big issues facing this country now Republicans are in the lead over the right, Democrats right it's not that big a change I mean historically this has been the pattern certainly in my lifetime which is to say since the Republican Party has been the conservative party and the Democratic Party has been the liberal party which hasn't always been the case um, what happens is Americans are more conservative than liberals than than liberal as polls also show they vote in Republicans yeah. after eight or twelve years for one thing Republicans get sloppy and start mm -hmm. doing their own big government stuff and also Americans think ah, how bad can the Democrats be so they put a Democrat in and they remember how bad the Democrats yeah, can be you get one term or you get two years with Bill Clinton and then suddenly for the next six years Clinton is you know signing everything Newt Gingrich and the Republican Congress was sending to him a um, major Republican takeover after that. And, you, I mean, you've seen this pattern going back basically since, since LBJ. You'll get eight or 12 years of a Republican, one term, or even two years of a Democrat government, I'll say. The, the, but, but and that's what you, of course you're going to see it He's here. running, though, this is the first time he's really hit trouble. And yes. this, is the, well, this is the first time. Americans yeah. are saying he's spending too much money. Americans now blame him for the economy. Right. Americans are more don't conservative than liberal. Him. They don't trust him. And they shouldn't. I mean, but as he's you becoming as unhinged. Out. Yes, yes, yes. Thank yes. You. Look at his press conference today. If you mm. could play that without yeah. him even speaking. And we knew this was going to happen. This guy can't take one punch. Um, no, when he starts talking, not just, not just, well, that's <laughs> not the, just standing. Well, we can't. You you're can talking, Colter. We becoming, wouldn't want to interrupt you. Yeah, the walking shots aren't that good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can see he's becoming unhinged because the media has totally, totally built this guy up. He can't do anything. The, the fist bump you just did to me, it was as if he had invented the cure for cancer when he did that with his <laughs> wife. He swats a fly and they're all, you know, hyperventilating. Now, meanwhile, look at how he reacted to his critics, to you, to Rush Limbaugh. He lashes out at Rush Limbaugh and tells Democrats, don't listen to this guy. You can't imagine George Bush you attacking very Dan jealous. Rather. He wasn't attacking you anymore. He did attack me in his first book. Attacked me and you together. That's right. That's right. I was very upset. But the point yeah. is, if this if this guy is so upset by criticism from people mm -hmm. who are on the opposite side of the spectrum, what's going to happen is these polls, as inevitably will happen, start to fall on him as Americans realize that, oh, he really is a liberal. Right. It's why not just would, a charming speech maker. Why do you think it is that so many Americans put their faith in government? Why would they put their faith in Obama when every promise he made about the economy, right. about the stimulus, about job creation, uh, every promise is, is now been broken, and now he's, it's so bad he wants to hide the numbers right. from the American people. Right. I mean, that was an interesting thing. And in one of the polls, the one that was in Politico today, <laughs> that, um, it was something like, 40% of Americans think that health care will be more expensive if we have a massive government takeover. 27% um, think it will be less expensive. Yeah, now that's they... who we got to interview. <laughs> who are these people? Maybe, maybe that's less where... expensive? Yeah. Well, they're dreaming. But... but as you keep pointing out with Obama, he said we've got to pass this stimulus bill, otherwise unemployment's going to go up. Yeah. It'll, we're going to at least keep it, we'll have it go down again. It could get as high as 8% and now it's 9.5%. Of course Pete, he's losing credibility and now he's saying we have to pass this health care bill now. Of course he's losing credibility. Let me credibility. ask you on the political front. And as he's saying, sorry, excuse me, just sorry. let me finish this one point. Um, sure he's shall. saying that money will go down right. if, if you have a national takeover of the government. He is saying it won't increase the deficit. No one we, can look, believe everybody that. Everybody knows taxes are going to <laughs> go up. Rationing is going is right. to be guaranteed. Right. Quality is going to decline. We, you know, we, we, we know all of this, and most Americans are going to be forced into the government system. That's everybody right. knows that. This is, all right. So the question I guess is now becomes political. There was a poll out that came out um, this week, and that Mitt Romney right. who, in a hypothetical matchup would tie uh, Barack Obama and Governor Palin only a few points away. Right, what right. Is, how, how do you I've interpret that? I've noticed that in a lot of the polls that Romney is doing quite well, and I think Romney. Are you supporting him? 
Um, possibly. I think we have to wait or, or get out there a little bit faster the next time and not Governor wait Palin? until you like the Palin? last minute when Republican primary voters go for the worst possible candidate and then yeah. say, no, no, not him. Um, but, but, you, but you voted for I Governor Palin it, in the last election. I did vote for Palin. I love Palin. Yeah. And I do think with Romney, I think it might, it's hard to make a prediction And how about Newt Gingrich? It could well be Romney because... Um, 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 primary voters, Republican primary voters, seem to vote for any name they've heard before, which right. isn't so good when the name they've heard before is McCain. It might be good with Romney, but what Romney has to do, let me say quickly before you cut me off, he has to get out and explain what was wrong with the health care program he did in Massachusetts. He has to take control of this issue. Now is the Last time. Last question. What about Newt? Um, I don't... I'd, I'd take Romney or Palin, I think. What about uh, Jim? I think, I think Gingrich should be the talker-in-chief. Talker because he's smart. He's he's bright. He's talker. All right, we'll get to the bottom of this one day. All right. <laughs> Absolute racist Obama. I would not normally have a problem with any president that wants to address school children, wants to encourage them to study hard, to develop, uh, uh, to, to learn, to have a great education, uh, to inspire them that America is the greatest country and they can be all they can be. But when you read the specifics here, what is the president asking me can, to do? How can I help the president? Now we're getting into an area where uh, it seems very close to indoctrination, or at least has the potential. He said he was acting. Okay, but the point is, the same point I made with the Jersey Girls, with Cindy Sheehan, with Max Cleland, with Christopher Reeves, if you have a point to make, then send someone out to make it that isn't a beloved actor. And don't come on and tell me, oh, he's a good friend of mine, and then ask me to respond to this. This is the most violent thing liberals have done to well, for, political all, debate liberal. in this country. All I'm yes, saying you is are. That we Marsh already Limbaugh, went through that the first time apologized. I was on, and you are a liberal. I am not a liberal. I am a conservative Democrat. <laughs> I don't believe waterboarding is torture. But you don't believe it's torture. Have you ever been waterboarding? I was going to have a, a, a few comments on the other Democratic presidential candidate, John Edwards, um, but it turns out that you have to go into rehab if you use the word faggot. No, but Ali North has, and I talked to him about it. And, how, and how, was, would you consent to be uh, waterboarded yes. so we could get the truth out of you? Yeah, sure. We can waterboard you? Sure. Uh, or are you busy on Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> it's far preferable to fight them on the streets of Baghdad than in the streets of New York, where the residents would immediately surrender. Now, some Ooh. New Yorkers felt that you were calling them cowards by making that statement. I'll do it for charity. I'll let you do it. I wouldn't do it. You certainly don't feel that New Yorkers are cowards. Uh, I think they would immediately surrender. I'll do it for the troops' I families. Wouldn't do it. I'll